Hey all, Binks here. After the new OTAs, one of the cards that I was really excited to mess around with was Vulture. It already felt pretty powerful getting plus five and going to plus six is pretty amazing. So we just kind of threw together this bouncy move deck uh, where we're trying to move some things like Dagger, Vulture, and Human Torch with Iron Fist, Ghost Spider, and sometimes Nico. Uh, and then being able to bounce them multiple times with things like Falcon and Bees to get multiple triggers of these things that scale and scale and scale. Uh, and then we have things like Craven to just be a good baseline card to add some uh, power. Black Swan to be able to give us another round of getting free one drops on top of beasting them back to our hand. And then we top it with both Spider-Man 29 uh, and Heimdall. So both nine power cards, which is really good to dodge Shang-Chi. Uh, and Spider-Man 2099 could really surprise some people. And then most of the time we're using this bouncy move, people don't really expect Heimdall. So you can get some sneaky wins that way. Uh, the deck had an incredible win rate. I just kept winning. People kept retreating like crazy. A super surprise. And I think a very solid deck. As always, if you're enjoying this content, make sure to hit the like button. Check down below. Make sure you're subscribed. And catch you live at twitch.tv slash banks underscore plays. Enjoy. You peace. Still waiting for your Captain Marvel buff? Uh, when she was a 4-5, she was problematic. Maybe she won't be problematic anymore. Because there's been power creep since that happened, but... I actually don't want Captain Marvel to be a good card. I think Captain Marvel being a good card... Uh, is bad for the game. Hot take. I think that Captain Marvel being a good card isn't good for the game. Cause there's like not much strategy to her. I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong in that, but I just, I, I don't really like the idea of her being a good card. I didn't really like when she was a four or five and she was in like 40% of decks. Second dinner isn't good for the game, to be honest. So true. Says the person who is <laughs> sitting here watching someone play the game. <laughs> they clearly did a good enough job to hook you and me and the 470 people watching on Twitch and the 771 people watching on YouTube. Uh, Hella Agatha junk pile needs shook up. I don't know what that means. What do you do? You're the move one. I mean, I kind of want to get the biggest human torch ever. It's probably the wrong play, but I, I feel obligated to do this. Wait, I can't do both of these. Oh no, I'm panicking. I'm not used to using the friggin' Nico move spell. We'll just hold in our hand for dagger next turn. It was 64 power human torch. Surely they don't have Shang-Chi in their deck. Is your right lane big enough? You mean my temporary right lane? That will eventually be my left lane. I also Valk me. My dagger left, you'll see. Follow your heart wherever it leads you. How do I beat Valk? I don't think I can beat Valkyrie middle. Mmm. Valkyrie middle can get beaten by Heimdall mid. Okay, so does Heimdall go in move order or play order? Or in, in location order? Because I got messed up with this with Annihilus. I'm pretty sure it's just placement order, right? So this should make these three cards go left, these three cards go middle. 
I think. I think it's position order for this one. You thought that I wouldn't play around Valkyrie middle, you piece. Wait, why? Why is this four? Let's take draw. We'll beast this up. We kind of needed card draw there, and then we're going to lose our card draw by filling our hand. So maybe we didn't need that card draw. Send dagger on a little trip. Maybe we hold the ghost fighter there. I think we do hold the ghost fighter because I for whatever reason I thought next turn was turn four. I could call obsidian. But I could have done multiple things. It was a misplay for sure. Is that an Ultron deck or something? Maybe a dump deck? They have seven cards in their hand. I guess Black Swan could be coming this turn. Possible to beat. Hope to see Adam. You can rewind the VOD if you would like. We bashed our head against trying to make Adam work for about an hour and a half. And just, he's just terrible. What'd I say, chat? I can definitely see 2099 being quite bad. Someone mentioned Doctor Strange, it's probably better, but I kind of like trying to make 2099 work. Like if you're in a draft and you got drafted like a 4-9 human or 4-6 human torch, if you're playing a draft where you get three random cards, you do that 12 times, you pick a deck. Old human torch is like kind of okay, right? It's just a 4-6 as baseline stats with some upside if you get move triggers. And at 5-9, it's the same thing. It's like baseline stats, some slight upside if you get a move trigger. The problem with Adam Warlock is that a 2-0 is atrociously bad right and on top of being in a, like an atrocious atrociously bad atro very bad <laughs> atrociously bad 2-0 already I don't know what the hell I'm doing I think I pass if we black swan next time we can uh, Spider-Man 2099 and then play one of our move cards if we get it. Okay, let's murder this. Completely wrecked your a zero deck. That was probably doing great. I'm all. I have him in hand. Peace. Thank you for thinning my deck, though. It's kind of you. I guess as we have Gladiator coming out left next turn, that would make a lot of sense to me. Plus two power. We're kind of in a really bad spot, right? None of our stuff really does anything. And, like, it's really annoying to not, like, just have too many forge shit too much forge shit in my hand I 
I think we lose a draw with this, right? We were fine. Oh, we messed up! We messed up! We messed up! No! <laughs> Damn it! To be fair, we got the same buff on Torch that we would have by moving it. We got the same buff on Torch that we would have by moving it, so it's fine. Now, do we lose two buff on the Falcon for no reason? Yes. Was that simply a bad play? Also, yes. Are we mad? Kind of. A little bit. I'm not stoked about the whole situation. I think we can win Gladiator Falls with Heimdall. I feel like we can't play the Nico. I feel like we can't play the Nico. If we do this, 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 it'll add the cards and then draw, right? We'll we just be killing beasts for no reason. So glad now at 2099 we could just play it. I don't know, science. Fake draws. Seems pretty good, right? Uh, we end up with 20 middle, 11 left, and a kill. We end up with 22 middle. Hopefully, I don't play something small left. We should still be fine. They have to play like two small things, one of which has to be more than four. And the other one, I, I think we're fine. Almost always. I sue! Victory. Imagine retreating when your opponent has three points on the board. <laughs> Let me take a vulture trigger. Go here, here. And maybe beast. Maybe falcon beast. I don't know, man. Get weird with it. Oh, move here! The movement. This could actually come in handy, not ironically later. Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man here. Scoot. Oh, you're gonna move my cards? Oh no, my opponent's gonna move my cards, chat. Whatever would I do? In the Vulture and Shang Chi range is a little scary. I can land this with the Vulture. We could try and be cheeky with the Beast, but I, th I think you could also run into a bit of some problems if you do that. God for me. I think we set up four. Oh wait, this is the this is the fifth turn. This is hurting my brain, dude. Let's just try this. I want to pick up this stuff. It's too heavy. We're buffing the Craven. I know. Big vision. That is a big vision, I tell you what. 
actually got the Nico Moose spell. Insanely cracked. They're, they go first. If they try Shang Chi stuff, this just mercs it. You can move two things, you can move one thing once. I'm hurting my brain, chat. I'm hurting my brain. A w here though i think just like we just like we planned it out Victory. how that on warlock testing go amazing it's the best card in the game let's get it on the human uh human torch I think the Adam Warlock effect should be in game or should be reworked at this point. I don't know, man. I think they're trying to test the waters of what card draw looks like and they're being overly safe. And I don't think that them being overly safe is necessarily a bad thing. Do we just pop this with Falcon? No. Brandon says, uh, yo, Binks, big fan. Quick question. Did they lower the amount of time you can refill missions? Seems you can only do it three times. Um, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know how, like when that changed or if that changed. I think our play is to hope that we get Heimdall in the next two draws. We play the Vulture now, next turn we Dagger Black Swan, and then we try and play these three cards with, um, with, uh, with the Heimdall in the final turn. Lab is annoying, we're actually fine. I think we're in a very okay position. Sag ordering. I think we stay on the same game plan. Still need Heimdall, but... I think we stay on the same game plan. I don't know, man. We're just... <laughs> We're just making this work somehow, dude. People are so scared. <laughs> I've never played against people so scared, man. Probably a bad hand. I guess, but like, I don't... <laughs> Do you just retreat when your opponent doesn't snap when they like making very okay plays in like the early turns? Cass. Uh, this is fine. Not ideal, but okay. The dodge. Must be Moon Girl, Moon Girl, um, High Evo, right? This must be Moon Girl, High Evo. We don't even have to put the ninja in our hand. I guess we kind of wanted to, but we'll just do this. This is okay. Where do I put you? Maybe right? It's good. I want to say it's just Dagger. Or maybe it's Black Swan into like Spider-Man 2099, all my ones, and then finish with Heimdall. That's probably a better line. Let's see if they get the Moon Girl off. Doesn't look like it. I 
do think the 2099 is more valuable here than the Craven. Victory. <laughs> what is going on? Why is everyone just leaving? Let me have fun, dude. <laughs> I'm so confused. I don't know why I'm playing both these, but I'm going to. I don't know why I'm doing this, chat. Don't, so don't ask. Hold deck! Thank you so much for the prime! Don't you dare ask why I'm doing this. Our opponent isn't doing anything, it's confusing me. Chat, did they get the same spell? Oh. <laughs> you might think I have no hand. Why would they Loki in Dark Dimension? <laughs> Stop saying order! I'm gonna, I'm gonna fight someone, dude. different spells how do they have different spells now i don't think this is hella i don't think you can just play hella on turn three <laughs> i think i messed this game up a lot <laughs> i'll be the first to admit that I, i'm pretty sure i just messed this game up by like uh, an insane amount i'll be the bigger man Discard him three more times. Aha! I can play at my worst and still win somehow. I don't know how, but it, it worked. Because unless it's gold or inked, it's almost always worse than the base art. Yeah, I agree with you. That's why almost always I use base art cards. Very rarely I use split cards. When I actually play, because I think the base art looks a lot nicer. Thank you for thinning my deck. Thank you for thinning my deck. Dogs are being little psychos. Hello! One, two, pop them back. No, I need to get to my move cards. I need to draw a move card. I need my cards to do things. Very rude of you, honestly.
How big could their Yandu be? Small? Watch this guy retreat? It has been a, a pretty common thing. Probably should have. Victory. No dagger and black swan variants and subs. Okay. Bye. You will be missed. Squirrels. Big dagger. Oh, we locked up left. Probably shouldn't have done this. Luckily, uh, we can't get. <laughs> Luckily, you can't get Shang Chi over there. Pretty good. Just hot swap this beast with a better beast. Weakest card and a random card. That that could be problematic. I think. I think killing two cards every time it moves is bad. Bet you wish Cerebro was a Warlock instead? Absolutely. That makes Warlock better than Cerebro. Oh! Grandmaster Cable! He has all my cards. Whatever am I going to do? <laughs> One of the biggest problems with the mood deck is when the board fills up. Well, it wasn't a problem that time, was it? Binks.